Well, working for you this midday, keeping your kids safe and knowing what they're into and who they're talking to. In light of recent stories involving children communicating with the outside world using apps, we wanted to get some expert advice on what parents should be looking out for. Stephanie Nancaro with Indiana State Police Internet Crimes Against Children is here. She just wrapped up a presentation at Ball State and is now here to help. Good to see you, Stephanie. Thanks for having me. Nice to Appreciate see you. It. And one of the uh, new apps we've seen that kids are using is called Whisper. So mm -hmm. this is one of many that parents should be looking out for. What should we yes. be looking for? Um, really, you can't really say there's one worse app than another. Kids are going to use a bunch of different apps. There's thousands upon thousands, if not millions of them out there. And you just have to be paying attention to how they're using them. Such so as Whisper, it's an anonymous app. You can talk to anyone that you want. You don't have to use a name. A lot of these apps, they don't ask for any personal information, such as a birth date or uh, your first or last name. So essentially, it can be anyone that you want to be on these apps that kids are using. So how do parents get in there and, and, and make sure they know what's being said? They would have to know how to get into their child's phone. They would need to know the password and they need to watch out for hidden apps as well because some of these apps will look like a calculator or they'll have an image as the icon that looks simple, but it's really behind that app that you need to be looking at what's inside. So really go through each app each on your child's every phone? Every single icon on your child's phone. If it says settings and you're like, oh, settings, not a big deal. I know it's settings. Open it up to Look make sure it. it's the actual settings. What about this defense that a lot of kids say, uh, you're invading my privacy? Parent comes first. You need to be a parent. You need to worry about what's happening with your child, especially with the internet now. Um, anything can happen. They can talk to anyone. They can talk to somebody clear in a different country and send them information. And that person says they're in that country, but they could still be in the same city that they're in. Um, it's very important that parents be aware of the actual things that are happening. If you think your child's innocent, that's great. Your child's innocent. However, your child is exposed to other kids at school as well. So they'll be mimicking or they'll be doing what those other kids are doing too because that's what's popular. All right, maybe the first thing parents can do today is have it's, that conversation with their kids. Exactly, have the conversation and start searching their phones. Don't do it every Monday because then they know every Monday right. mom or dad's going to go through my phone. Do it sporadically so they don't know when it's coming. All right, some good tips there, Stephanie. Mm -hmm. Thank you. We appreciate no that.